it's always a challenge when they're making a movie to make something look new. But we feel that the whole idea of Poseidon is very unique. We have a sequence under the sea, which is an enormous set piece, which is just gorgeous. When I was reading it, I couldn't imagine how would that be made. Now I know, and I'm amazed even more, because there are things that are beyond my imagination. The set took two to three months to actually build, and it's colorful, fluorescent, it's beautiful. A lot of coral, a lot of texture, very, very wet. <laughs> very, very wet. But kind of this other world, you know, we're unlocking another world within the Pirates world. Even without effects, I think you're being surrounded in blue screen and, and just having the sea floor in front of you and, and seeing the craftsmanship and the detail and the coral, uh, it's very easy to lose yourself. The design by Nigel Phelps is amazing. And then, of course, it was a massive light rig to make it appear like you're trapped between two giant walls of water. We were tasked with the, uh, the job of trying to create an uh, underwater environment. We experimented with some different things to try and give the feeling of, of water movement. We looked at projectors and things like that to try and see if those things would work. And we ended up with a very simple uh, system of just old-fashioned water tricks. The people camera basically hung pools of water up in the ceiling and he shot light through it and had some sort of a rig that made uh, the waves appear in the water and that created that kind of constant uh, moving around. And on top of that he had like this insane stage rig uh, with lights that was constantly blinking you know all day so like two weeks of that you get a little cuckoo, but uh, <laughs> it's, it looks good in the movie. <laughs> looks good in the movie. Each water tree has uh, at least three moving lights inside. And we went with moving lights because we knew as the action shifted it would be easier to adjust the lights uh, that way. And the sharpness of the beam creates a very nice sharp shadow uh, effect from the, from the water movement. Obviously there's a lot of technical stuff that went along with it, but uh, the sea bottom was so beautifully done. It was so... Uh, Surreal. Can't just go down to the Pacific and go push back. <laughs> you know, it's not the Red Sea. They built all the fundamentals as much as possible, I think, for, for the imagination of the actors. But there's going to be a lot more added in post production. The creation of Poseidon's tomb was pretty clear right from the start, but it was probably one of the most complex work that we had in the movie. There was a lot of fleshing out that we had to do in terms of the heights of the ocean, um, you know, the difference between the, the floor of the, the ocean plane and the water surface above, uh, what that distance would end up being. The bigger questions for us were more like, what would the actual walls of the water look like? What kind of texture would they have? And how much clarity of vision would you need to have between what's on the inside of the water wall and what's on the outside of the water wall? We had to build everything behind the walls in terms of coral, there were fish, uh, there was kind of shipwreck and other kind of rock features and things like that. And so there's the process of building all that stuff, which uh, means obviously the modeling, the texturing, the look that process and things like that. But we also had to consider how far in depth things were from the wall and whether or not you'd actually see it once it went through all the kind of the distortion that was happening on the wall. So the process there was doing render tests to understand would you actually see the fish or would you see you know, the, the coral in the background and making sure that we were hitting the right level of disturbance on the wall. <laughs> as well as creating kind of patches of areas where you could see a little bit deeper through the wall with gust kind of patterns and things like that to allow us to read a little bit more of that internal environment. Action. you get into the pirate's world, anything can happen. Now, nothing's really going to throw you. Jump faster! Uh, at first, we said, no, there's no way. But you quickly adapt, it seems, and everything becomes possible. Yeah.